Hey folks, today I'm going to show you our KS jack module with our 110 termination. So I'm working with a category 6 KS jack and if you notice there are two different color standards. There's a 568B in the center and a T568 on the outside. So be aware of what color standard you're wiring for the rest of your building. Today I'm going to show a 568B. First thing I'll do is strip back a few inches of my cable. If you have a center spline or tape, make sure you cut that out. And always remember for best practice, you're going to want to maintain your twists um, as tight as possible to your punch downs. So I've separated my piers to align with my module. And I'll start separating my individual conductors. Now remember I'm going by the B on the inside, so I'll separate my white blue. I will separate my white green. Let me rotate over to the other side and we'll separate our white orange. Keep in mind you want to keep your twist pair close to the IDC as possible without being too tight. And I'll explain that in a minute. The last thing I'm going to do is double check my cable and make sure my colors are correct. And they are. And I will punch down. It's kind of a two-step process to me. I set my cable and then punch, set and punch until I complete the process. You notice my jacket is right above the IDCs. You're allowed some space here that's not too tight and still doing proper um, protection. And what I do want to tell you about the stuffer caps is they are mandatory, so you shall put your stuffer caps on. Keeps your cable in place. And once these are in place, it also helps from pulling out. So with this KS module terminated and our stuffer caps on the back, one more point I want to make to you and uh, keep this in mind in the field, a little tech tip for you. On your keystone plates, there is an up. So you'll see on the back there's an arrow with the words up, so it is directional. And uh, another tip for you, if you have a face plate and you're doing two or three in a row up and down, you always want to start at the bottom plate when you insert the KS. So starting at the bottom, if you have more than one cable, you're going to want to rotate that in and clip it into place. Otherwise you could have a little trouble with your, your uh, spacing trying to get your fingers to make that mechanism work so a little tip for you thank you for watching this video